Hare Krishna. Question from Praveen Chanvaman Prabhu. We see that Jiv Goswami in the Sandarbha spends a lot of analysis differentiating between Krishna and Vishnu worship. And similarly, Bhakti Sadhana Thakur also differentiates between how Krishna worship in the mood of Madhurya is higher than worship of Vishnu. So at the same time, I often feel attracted to Sri Vaishnavism and also feel attracted to Vishnu worship as is taught by Ramacharya and his followers. So is this something that I should not do as a Gaudiya Vaishnava Sadhaka or can I balance both of them? Answer, the Acharyas have two aspects to their teachings. One is their establishing of Siddhanta and second is their, their providing practical guidance for specific seekers about how they can move forward in their spiritual life. Now, Jiva Goswami is called as a Siddhanta Acharya and he in the Sandarbhas is philosophically establishing uh, the various fundamental propositions of Gaudiya Vaishnavism and one of them is the supremacy of Krishna among all the various manifestations of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So for that purpose he just he brings a elaborate number of uh, verses and analysis to establish how Krishna is Rasaraj and Bhakti Sanskrit Thakur also was preaching in a Indian, largely Hindu context where people were religious but <coughs> Krishna worship was highly misunderstood and was highly was often denigrated also. So he was re-establishing the <coughs> glory of Krishna worship and for that purpose he differentiated that. Now if you look at Srila Prabhupada's teachings he, for, he was, most of his preaching, he was in the West and of course even when he came to India, India was also getting westernized. So the focus of his preaching was basically on how one has to give up sense gratification and how one has to actually practice spiritual life. So of course the Prabhupada has translated Chaitanya Charitamrit which talks about say, the, in the say, Ramananda and Ramandra and Chaitanya Mahapu Samvad, the highest levels of pure devotion for Krishna, going to Radha Mahab, Radha Rani's Mahabhav. So all those are also given, but they are, but Srila Prabhupada does not go into this technical differentiation in terms of the different manifestations of Krishna and Vishnu or Vishnu because that is not relevant. And we see even Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had multiple features, multiple, I mean the way he dealt with people. Now we see uh, uh, two of his important associates, Murari Gupta and Anupam, were Ram Bhaktas and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu fully encouraged them. In fact, he appreciated that the fixedness of their devotion to Ram. And although we have one story where one devotee was, when Devi Chaitanya Mahaprabhu South India tour was chanting the names of Ram, but after meeting Lord Chaitanya, he started chanting the names of Krishna. But you also have the other story where there was a devotee who was feeling agony at the thought that uh, Sita has been abducted by Ravana. And Lord, uh, Lord Chaitanya brought a Puran in which it is described that Maya Sita was taken. And he appreciated the ecstasy of that devotee and he participated in that ecstasy by mitigating it. So it's not, we are not, in one sense, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does not demonstrate an example of Krishna fanaticism in any way. And so there are examples which can go both ways. We see that Vallabh Bhatta and his family, they were Sri Vaishnavas and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu encouraged them and under his inspiration, they became Gaudiya Vaishnavas. But then we also, as I said, the Ram Bhaktas who continue to be Ram Bhaktas. So, uh, the essential point is that the Acharyas, the Supreme Lord and the Acharyas, they come to raise consciousness of people. And ultimately, everyone is intent, they want everyone to become pure devotees. Uh, now, if you look at Shri Prabhupada's position also, when Prabhupada met Peter Barwash, he told him, you speak about vegetarianism and raise people's consciousness at least on the level of no meat eating to uh, from no meat eating to no meat eating but then there are other letters where pro, there are some devotees where uh, one devotee asked the Prabhupada in order to expose the reality of the uh, pain of animal kill, uh, can we uh, paint explicit can we depict in BTG explicit pictures of cows being slaughtered 
Prabhupada said, no, absolutely not. He says, our focus is not just to uh, uh, evoke some sentiments among people. He said, we are against illicit sex. But will you paint pictures of, show pictures of illicit sex so tell people to condemn it? No. So he said that we focus on devotional service. So in general, the Acharyas will present according to time, place, circumstance. So now in our preaching situation where people don't even understand the existence of the soul or many people don't even understand the existence of God and the, the differentiation between two manifestations of God who are in Tattva the same but are different in Rasa that is something which is completely out of the pale of people's uh, grasping power and uh, people's relevance also. So at our stage, you know, we have come from that same culture and the same society. So at our stage, we can safely say that for us, yena kena prakare na minakuna krishna niveshe. Somehow or other, fix the mind in Krishna. That is the most important principle that we should follow. While following this principle of whichever way manifestation, whichever way we can fix our mind in Krishna, we accept that. In, uh, if we are Gaudiya Vaishnavas, then our primary focus of worship should be on Krishna. But while we are doing that, that means now regularly we visit Krishna temples, regularly we chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, regularly we read books which focus on Krishna worship, the Bhagavad Gita, the Bhagavatam, the Chaitanya Charita Amrit. But along with that, we see that you know even the current ISKCON leaders, when they go for Yatra, sometimes they go to Yatras where there are other where in the, there are the tirthas of other sampradayas also. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has gone there, so we go there. But we don't speak only about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes. We can speak about Ramacharya's pastimes also over there. And Srila Prabhupada has also written about Ramacharya, Madhacharya in a very positive way in the relevant section of Chaitanya Charita Amrut when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has gone to those holy places. So the broad spirit should be that we appreciate devotion wherever it is present and we seek inspiration from that and as far as our study focus is concerned we focus on the Gaudiya Vishnu uh, Sampradaya so it's like a student who is studying in a particular university and the student focuses on the curriculum that is taught in the university and focuses on studying and getting graduated through that university but at the same time the student acknowledges there are other universities and if the student happens to travel to another place with another university going to that university looking at the libraries it's not considered wrong and in fact <coughs> that may give more inspiration so that one can become more focused in our own studies. Bhaktivinoda Thakur has a very beautiful statement. In fact, that applies not only to other forms like of the same Lord of Krishna and Vishnu, but he says, when I, if I go to a place of worship of, some, uh, of a person who is worshipping in an entirely different way from mine, he is referring to Muslims or Christians, then what should be my disposition over there? Then he says, what I should see is, how merciful is the Lord? I am paraphrasing this here. How merciful is the Lord that in order to attract people to him, to deliver people, he has assumed this aspect uh, which I cannot understand and he is accepting worship in a way which is quite different from the way I am, I am familiar with worshipping the Lord. But by seeing this, my appreciation of the uh, of the merciful and accommodating nature of the Lord is increasing and thereby I am feeling inspired to devote myself more to the worship of the Lord in the way that I am familiar with and in the form that I am uh, I, I am in devo I am devoted to so that means we can take inspiration from other sampradayas and we can take inspiration by going to the tirthas of other other play other sampradayas also if that inspires us so that includes vishnu worship also but the focus should our focus sadhana should be on the um, on krishna so if we feel so inspired by shri sampradaya that we feel as if i don't want to chant the hare krishna mahamantra and i want to chant om namo narayanaya or i want to uh, uh, read Vishnu Puran. I don't want to read Bhagavad Puran. And if it is a very very strong inclination like that, then one has to seriously think what one has to do. Some, it might sometimes just be cultural, because I was brought up in childhood, 
in that particular culture where Vishnu worship was there, where Vishnu Sahasranam was being recited. So I feel attracted to that and it may not be spiritual. Cultural means what are the impressions that I have got in my childhood. Spiritual means what is the eternal Swarupa of the soul in relationship with Krishna. So if it is simply cultural, then as we keep practicing Krishna consciousness, the cultural impressions of Krishna consciousness will come in and then we will be able to move forward and become attracted to Krishna also in a steady way. But in some cases, if a devotee is very strongly attracted to, uh, to Sri Vaishnavism uh, and uh, that way of worship, then that devotee can pursue sadhana in that way also. There is um, past time Prabhupada, he was in, London, in America. After a lecture, one young man asked him, he said that, Swamiji, you say that your philosophy sounds like that of Buddha. And Prabhupada said, do you follow Buddha? He said, no. He said, follow Buddha, follow Jesus, follow Krishna, follow someone, don't just talk. So what Prabhupada mean by that don't just talk is that actually when we follow a spiritual path, by that we make spiritual advancement. So Prabhupada is so accommodating over here where he's saying that you can follow Buddha also. All the Buddha's teachings are in many ways not Vedic. But he's saying that even by following Buddha, one will rise from the lower modes to the higher modes. And one will come to some level to goodness. So the point is that everybody should be focused on becoming elevated spiritually. Now, in the Gaudiya Vishnu Sampradaya, because Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Yuka Avatar, because the Hare Krishna Mahamantra is the Brahma Tarak Naam for the sage, because Srila Prabhupada has presented Krishna consciousness in a very contemporarily accessible way. So that's why we have multiple additional support systems which can help us to make fast spiritual advancement. And that's why we are fortunate that we are here and if we are, if we are fortunate we will be able to stay focused and we will continue on receiving the mercy of Lord Chaitanya as is given through Srila Prabhupada. But we don't have to become insecure if we are attracted to other forms of Vishnu. We can take that inspiration and intensify our devotion to Krishna by that. Thank you. Hare Krishna.